Um, so I was just wondering, the Bible, the Bible? says in Romans 4, what? the Bible says in Romans 4, the Bible, can you just okay, in Romans 4, the Bible says that justification comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, so the Bible also says that Abraham believed God and his faith was credited to him as righteousness. And for us that believe God, our faith is credited to us as righteousness. Okay. It says that if just, uh, Abraham was justified by his works, he would have a reason to boast. The hope of the redemption. He was, he was faithful because he was also expecting the Messiah, Jesus Christ. But in what way do you perceive that we receive justification from God? What is it? Is our, our faith in God is our faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah, of course, I agree. Mm -hmm. But sir, what I'm trying to say is to be justified, <coughs> as far as God is concerned, every single one of us in uh, you know has broken his laws. We're all guilty of sin. Yeah. You have read also so how do we St. receive James, St. James the Apostle? But James says, said that the body without the spirit is dead. Yeah, so without the Holy Spirit, you're dead. Says, says St. James, um, show me your faith without works, without deeds. But and, and he'll and show you by you my, faith by my deeds. But sir, you see the thing is, there's a difference between being saved. And then going on to do good works because Christ has saved you, redeemed you, and paid for your sin to earning grace through the sacrament. So you're trying to work your way to heaven. No, you must be, you see, the point is, you must be coherent with your faith. Well, James said that the body without the spirit is dead. Okay, so if you're dead, how can you work your way back to life again? You're dead, according to scripture. But, but if you, James said uh, that. That was James. The, he said the body was... Repent, no? Well, sir, don't you need Jesus to breathe life into you? Yes. Okay, so how does he do that? Through, through, the, through the sacrament? No, sir. He no, does sir. this through faith. That's what it says in Ephesians 2.8. The, the, faith, the faith includes the sacraments. He has no, made sir, the sacraments. No, sir. The sacraments... See, the thing is, you replace the cross with the sacraments. He, you he you has, say he that has, he has said, he has said. See, the, Jesus those, paid for our sin. To those who do, do forgive the sins, the sins are forgiven. So that's yes. another way of saying Jesus said to the apostles that who he, he, Jesus said, whoever believes in me is not condemned. Whoever doesn't believe is I condemned not, already. Not in him fully, fully. So, yeah. so. But I believe that Jesus is saying when he said, whoever sins you forgive is forgiven, whoever sins you don't forgive are not forgiven, is in parallel with what he said when he said, whoever believes is, um, whoever doesn't believe is condemned, whoever believes is not uh, is not condemned. So whoever whoever believes imagine, their sins are forgiven, whoever doesn't imagine, believe their imagine. sins are not forgiven. You, you say, as opposed to them. Someone, some, someone says, I believe in Jesus, but he behaves. Well, sir, yeah. well, this is the thing, you're dead. And so when Jesus makes you alive through your faith, he breathes you the Holy Spirit sin, into you. you. Sin anymore. So he covers your sin. And you see, in Hebrews 10, 14, it says that by his one sacrifice, he has perfected forever those of us being sanctified. You see, when Jesus takes away your sin, he imputes his righteousness to you. And then you begin a process of sanctification. And Ephesians 1, 13 says that they are sealed yeah, with the Holy Spirit until the day of... The the and the well, there, sir, it's the Bible, and the Bible speaks for itself. And you see, the thing is, who, 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 who has said which are the, the books of the Bible? Well, I believe God did, sir. I believe God is responsible for giving us scripture, and I believe that man really should put themselves in the place of God and say that they're responsible for giving us the Bible. Because the Roman Catholic Church, you know, when Constantine legalized Christianity, he made it a religion, and instead of going out and preaching the gospel, People had to, um, sorry, In, right, okay, when Constantine legalized Christianity, he made it a religion. Instead of doing what Jesus commanded us to do in Matthew 28, go into all the world and preach the gospel, which is given to us in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through to 4, what happened was is that people started joining the religion, just like people join the Catholic Church, it's exactly the same thing. Yes, but so instead of going out and preaching the gospel you, and people believing it, Jesus was not was wrong when he said, 
on, on this on this church. I, on no, this sir, I believe that your interpretation of Matthew 16, 15 through to 19 is wrong. You see, the thing is, the Bible interpretates the Bible. Okay, no scripture is open for his own private interpretation. So when Jesus said to Peter, you are Petras, he was meaning that he is a stone in God's spiritual building, sir. You see, Jesus is the rock upon which the church is built. It's not a, a, a human made with that. It's not a human, sir. I pray for you to read the Bible because you're deceiving people.